Hello and welcome back to another video with Jess. Today's video, it's a bit of a spontaneous one to be honest. I didn't have an idea what I was going to film this week until today, but I'm going to do a styling my docks video. These are my docks. They might be a bit dirty actually. Should have given them a little wipe. Yeah, got a bit of mud on them, but you can't really tell. I actually have, they're like the patent leather platform docks, so they're quite big and chunky. I love them. I love them very much, but they're really unpredictable. Sometimes my feet are fine when I wear them, and sometimes they actually are shredded. They are just taking a bit of wearing into. But I love them anyway. Anyway, so that is why we're going to style them today. First outfit, I'm just going to keep this top on because I find dot like they're quite a grungy uh, item of clothing, which is literally the opposite of my fashion. My fashion is very colourful, fun and like light-hearted. Um, I feel like they're quite contrasting to my fashion. So the first outfit that I have is kind of that, like make the boots like the contrast to the rest of the outfit. But we're going to keep this top on and then I have these tattoo jeans. The print on them is giving grungy, but then with this little, the little butterfly top, it's keeping it cute. But then the jeans make a good transition to the boot, which which like completely grungy. I keep saying grungy. I don't know if that is the right word. You know what I mean. This top is just a Primark, by the way. And these jeans I got off ASOS a couple years ago now. But these are top shop. I'll try to fit on for you. Okay, I have just put the jeans on. It's a good job they fit because I just realised the last time that I went to put these on, they were too small because I have had them quite a few years now. But we're back in them. They're still quite snug, to be honest. But this is you'll probably see in the mirror this is what the outfit is i will insert clips because from this outfit onwards i'm just going to show you the clothing things and then i'm going to insert like a try on clip with the boots on to the next outfit that i would wear my docks with sticking with the snazzy pants theme snazzy trousers these ones that i have on as you can see they have like the tattoo bleach in detail but this would be the other jeans that i would wear my docks with i could actually keep this top on even these are zebra print trousers these are from alice's lips it's an instagram it's an instagram little small fashion brand i actually got these in my first year of uni because they dm'd me with a cord so i had a little browse through their stuff and i like these jeans they're actually all like handmade just because it is a small, small little business so I'll definitely check them out i'll see if i can link them in the bio ah, i love these little zebra jeans these are definitely like a 2021 throwback 2020 so just to mention with these trousers they're kind of like a straight leg and these ones Mm, they're a bit skinnier than the ones that I've got on but they're also a straight leg which I think the straight leg works great with your docks so you can still see the docks rather than a wide leg that will just come completely cover the boot I feel like straight leg jeans really complement docks and the top to go with these was wear this pink top this is from pink vanilla it's a brand with a new look and yeah this i would wear this pink top because the jeans have like pink detailing on them the zip on the button is pink and the stitching on them is pink so just to pick that up wear this top and i think that adds a bit of like my kind of style fun color into the outfit but it still works with a dock so tell me what you think I like this fit. A very wearable fit. This could be like day to day or day at night. Drinks, going out for food. Like, do you know what I mean? Very versatile outfit. Next outfit. Oh, I don't know where to go next. This outfit's cool. I wanted to wear this outfit for ages. I had it in mind. Just didn't get the opportunity to wear it. And I got one. I wore it to Flight Club actually in Manchester. But let's show you the outfit before I blab too much about it. So we'll start off first with the top for this one. So the top is this little baby tee. It's actually not baby tee though. It's just a little boys top from the charity shop. I think I paid like $1.99 for this in Oxfam. It's originally F and F. Is that Tesco clothing? But it's got this snake on it which i think's really cool and edgy i love this green color i don't think i think i might have a pair of jeans similar to this color in my wardrobe but i don't have any tops this color and i really like it also a baby tee is just just cute it's not really a baby tee though it's just a top that's way too small for me but i definitely think because the pattern is quite cool on it i don't think many people think it's a little boy's top unless i tell them and for the bottom i have this skirt this was also a charity shop find i absolutely adore when i got this it was literally too small but didn't throw it away i was like i'm gonna give it six months if it fits it fits i'm not gonna ever advocate for fitting into your clothes your clothes should fit you i got this it didn't fit me and i thought i'll just hold on to it because i am coming off my birth control and like have been at uni for first year like my weight might change again and i'm really glad it did because this does fit again yeah which is really good and this is from river island originally but look how old that label is 
That is proper vintage. It's also a size six, so I would never expect to fit into a six, but I just could not leave this in the charity shop. And I got it, and somehow I'm now a six. I'm really not a six. I don't know how it fits anyway. I think I must have stretched it. I like the cuteness of the skirt makes a good contrast with the like little boy little boy snake at the top it was really icky mm -mm, not doing that again like them together and then i can wear black tights which i have here <laughs> to bring in the black of the top so it's not that warm and it's very very mini skirt so you do i don't need to wear tights with this that makes a really cute outfit and i really love it and like i said i wore it to flight club and i thought that was a perfect little night out outfit i just wear it with my, my black aviator jacket a lot of these outfits i just wear i have a green aviator jacket and a black aviator jacket and i just interchange them I feel like they match the vibe of the boots quite well. Why don't we just stick with the, the mini skirt vibe? Next thing we have another mini skirt. It's like a mini cargo skirt, and I actually made this myself. It's from Avenue. Is that what I It was a cargo skirt that I found in the church shop, and it was a bit longer. Like it was like a long cargo skirt. Maybe it was like that much that I took off of it. And it's a size 12, so it sits low waisted on me. I just chopped it. Chopped it, sewed it. And now it's basically an urban outfit as mini skirt. It's got pockets on the back and I think it's really cute. To go with the cargo mini skirt, I have this top, which is from Primark. And it's this mesh long sleeve print top. I got this last year from Primark and it's actually been great. Like it's such a good, you know, when you're pale for a night out and you, you want a long sleeve, like this is perfect because it's mesh. So you can wear a little top underneath and it's still like, ooh, like a going out top, but covered up so you can be pale. Like my phone just ran out of storage, but I've managed to delete a couple of things. So hopefully we can get this video finished. This top and the mini skirt, I feel like is cute. It's not the warmest of outfits, but definitely cute clubbing outfit with my docks good outfit what next right we've got one more mini skirt one that's what we'll do next oh sorry there's something behind the camera didn't mean to get that close to you the last mini skirt one i promise we have another mesh top as well again what i was saying about being pale and oh, sh really hope my heat has not come on on any of this because i don't think i haven't heard it but if my heat is on then that's not very good for you guys next outfit this one actually has two bottom options one is a mini skirt one is trousers I have this mesh little top this is originally top shop but i have cut out the label out this is such an old top like i feel like i've definitely worn this on my channel hundreds of times because i've had this for genuinely years i think i had this since 2019 oh it's like a four-year-old top that's quite cute this mesh top and then one option so say this was a night out have this little denim mini skirt this is this is also a top shop and this was from a charity shop but it's just a perfect little mini skirt so with the mesh top and the boots i think that is a great clubbing night outfit other option if it's it's a bit chilly or you're not feeling getting your legs out you're not tanned your legs maybe my other option would be leather trousers i think they fit the vibe of the boots these are very long and they're flared at the bottom so like they'll fit all for the boots we like that one that one is is that outfit four or five well, if it was four or five, then it would be four and five because there's two outfits there because there's two different bottoms. But then we're going to switch up. Like we're going from clubbing outfits to a much classier outfit. This is actually how I wore my docks last week. So just to show that you can dress them up a bit. Starting off, I actually wore this little strappy cut out urban outfit as dress. This is another thing that I've had for ages. I remember wearing it to this party that I wore. wasn't supposed to have back in. I think it was Feb 2020. Oh, three years ago. It was an urban outfit as sale find and literally it's it's a bit of a no it's got a bit of a reputation this dress. It is very well known within the friendship group for good times. I actually wore this dress the other day to go oh, I enjoy it. I don't think I've told you. I'm going to Dublin by the way next year but i actually wore this dress to go out and celebrate me going to dublin because i've got a placement year and i'm i'm working over there next year so this is so exciting probably i've not told you yet spoiler there's gonna be lots of excellent amazing dublin little good content next year coming so you better subscribe now if you want to see all of that this is what we're starting off with just black strappy cut out dress obviously it's still winter a bit chilly it's fine i got a blazer i actually got this blazer for an interview but it was a virtual interview so i just wore it on the top but it is actually like a long line oversized blazer i got this in a size 12 in primark they don't have this one anymore because i got this one in the sale but they have a very similar one in right now in stock so if you do like this definitely get yourself there i wore this over the 
black dress and it's got black detailing on the buttons ties in the boots ties in the dress all good stuff and i also got this little sparkly bag this is actually the bag that i wore out oh we went to go see the girls bathroom in that outfit as well so i thought that was very appropriate like it was dressy but it was casual with the boots you know it was another primark find i got this for three pounds in the sale so it was a, it's a great time and it's kind of not exactly the same as the blazer but does well enough you know just shows how you can dress up the boots a bit more like make a bit more classy look i have two final outfits i'm thinking all morning about these fits so i hope you're enjoying them final two definitely i think a bit of a more controversial tear this is my very granny core aspect to my fashion the first outfit is this skirt that i got from the charity shop this is from jack's the i've included this in a charity shop haul not long ago on my channel so i will make sure to link that in one of the info cards I just wear this little low waisted moment but i like this because it's like wintry colors and i think the darker colors means it works with the the black of my dock i just wear this with this long sleeve top i actually don't know where this is from i think it might be really really old primark i'm pretty sure it's like age 11 to 12 years a trusty little navy long sleeve top kind of goes with purple of the skirt and then with the docks i wore that outfit when i went away for christmas and i have also a jumper but i've left it at home because i'm at uni right now that is identical to this color so i wear that over the long sleeve top and it's a perfect outfit and then i also had on this little hat with it kind of similar colors but i think just add something a bit fun to the outfit why not why not add a fluffy pink leopard print bucket hat to the outfit final outfit and we're gonna be including the navy long sleeve top as i told you very trusty top it's a good basic to have in the wardrobe this time instead of with a skirt i have this dress and again it's kind of giving like mum on holiday or like even your nana on holiday but i love this dress this is again from a charity shop but this is Per Una, which is a really good charity shop brand. A midi length floaty dress, which kind of contradicts the um, docks. But I like I like the oxymoron of the outfit. So yeah, that is the, all the outfits I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed just like styling a few bits of my wardrobe. It's really helped me come up with some outfits. And like if I'm stuck for going out again, I'm never going to say I've got nothing to wear. Because look, I've got all them outfits and all of them I can wear with my trusty docks. That is the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did please like and subscribe like i told you there's lots of exciting things coming to this channel very soon and i hope to see you all again very very soon bye